Okay guys, welcome to the very first episode in a series that is designed to get you ready to use Lightburn for Galvo. Uh, we're going to walk through everything you need to know to start using your laser with Lightburn for Galvo. And it's going to start here with the first episode where we'll be downloading and installing and activating the software. Uh, so. Here we are, we're on the desktop, and I've completely removed any trace of Lightburn from my computer, so we're starting absolutely from scratch. Uh, and on June 30th, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is come down here, and we're just gonna open up a new Chrome tab right here, and we're going to go to lightburnsoftware.com. So lightburnsoftware.com, we'll let that load up, and you're gonna click right here where it says download slash trial. Uh, if you need to pick up a license for this, you can do so here uh, under Buy Lightburn, and you will get an email receipt uh, with your activation code, uh, your, your license key. Uh, but anybody can download this, whether you have an activation key or you're trying to use the trial, uh, and then you just select the version of the software that you want to download, and it will download to your computer. Um, we are still pre-release as of the recording of this video, so we're looking for version 1.2. Uh, so I'm not going to click this. I've actually got a download link that I'm going to use, um, but this is where you will come on June 30th. You'll just download one of these for whatever version of the software that you have. Once you do click the download button, you're gonna get this uh, little message here from your web browser just asking for sure you wanna download it, and we'll hit keep and we've got the file right there. Uh, you can either execute it from the downloads bar or we can click show in folder, which will pull it up in Windows for us where we can execute it from. Once we launch the installer, uh, we'll be greeted by this little window here. It just asks us where we would like to save it. Uh, the default location is fine and it tells us how much space it's gonna need on the computer. 103 megabytes is virtually nothing. So we'll go ahead and click next. Uh, we can name the folder uh, if we want to. And then if we want, we can have a desktop icon, so we'll just keep going through here. Finally, it's just going to summarize everything that we've asked it to do, and we can hit install. And it's going to install really quick. It only takes a second. And this screen here is important. So we want to make sure, since we're using this for Galvo, right, uh, we want to install the EasyCAD 2 driver. There's currently no EasyCAD 3 support. So if you're using EasyCAD 3, uh, this isn't going to work for you. But uh, we want the EasyCAD 2 driver installed. The nice thing about this is that it does not matter if you already have the regular EasyCAD driver installed. This will just install right over the top of it. Um, and if you're starting from literally nothing and you've never installed the EasyCAD driver, checking this box will still work. So definitely check this box. Either way, we want to make sure that's checked. And then we can launch Lightburn when we're done. So we'll go ahead and hit finish. And the little wizard's going to pop up over here and it's going to say, uh, you know, we're going to install the device driver. Boom, it's done. So there it is, BJJCZ USB device ready to use. Um, we'll hit finish on that and then Lightburn is gonna launch for us. Now, Lightburn costs money. This is not free software. If you have already purchased a license key for Lightburn for Galvo, which again will be for sale on July 15th, so you've likely not purchased this if you're watching this video as soon as it comes out, you can post that license key right here. So you go ahead and paste that in and there's our license key and you can just hit activate license and you're finished. Uh, or you can start your free trial. As long as you start your free trial on June 30th or later, up until June 15th, you'll be able to use the Lightburn for Galvo features. Um, I have a license because I'm on the beta, so I'm going to go ahead and click Activate License. After that, we'll get a message that says your license has been activated. Click OK to start using Lightburn. So we'll hit OK. And here we are, we're inside Lightburn and we're ready to go. Now the very first thing that we need to do in order to start using Lightburn with our Galvo laser before we do anything else is we're going to have to add a device. Um, usually during the installation process when you first open Lightburn for the first time it will come up automatically, uh, but mine doesn't because of some weird stuff that I had to do for the beta. So. Uh, you're essentially starting from this screen right here. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to say you have to import a device in order to use Lightburn. Um, and we have a couple options down here. Uh, we can either find my laser, we can create a laser entry manually, and then we can import and export. So if you already have a device profile, you can use these to take care of that. But we're assuming that you don't have anything set up. 
This is really important now that your machine is turned on. If your machine is not on, EasyCAD will not be able to see it. So if you want to make sure that you have a good connection to your laser and your computer can see your laser, hit the start button and we're going to just come in here and go to device manager. And what we're looking for under universal serial bus devices is going to be the USB LMC V2 or whatever version of the EasyCAD 2 board that you have. If you see the BJJCZ device up at the top or you don't see anything and you get the little exclamation point uh, icon up in here, that means that the drivers didn't install correctly. So you'll want to retry the Lightburn installation process, but um, it should pop right up. I, I've done this a dozen times now and I've never had an issue. So there it is. We can see it. Uh, if I turn my laser off, this will actually go away because the computer can't see it anymore. So if you can see it in here, it's connected and it's on and you're good to go. So just make sure that your laser is on before continuing. Once your laser is on and you're good to go, we can go ahead and click the find my laser button. Lightburn does a great job of actually kind of doing the initial setup for us. So we'll click find my laser. Make sure your device is connected via USB and click next. So we'll hit next. And this is probably the slowest part of the process. It takes a minute for Lightburn to crunch. Sometimes it'll even lock up for a second. Just don't click anything, just wait it out uh, and it will eventually come up. So that took like a good 30 seconds there, uh, but it did pop up and we see we have the device info, uh, JCZ Fiber LMC4 uh, with a bed size of 110 by 110, that's default. It's a Galvo and we're connected via USB. So that's what we want. That's what we want to add. Uh, so we'll hit add device. And now when we add a new Galvo device, they've kind of worked in this feature here to configure settings manually, skip the import and click next to import existing EasyCAD configuration, follow these steps. When we set up our EasyCAD installation and we go through that entire process to get our lasers ready to go, EasyCAD saves all of that information in a file called Mark Config 7. Lightburn actually makes it so we can import this Mark Config 7 uh, and, and save us a little bit of time. So if we click Import EasyCAD Config, we just have to navigate to our EasyCAD folder. Uh, I keep mine in Google Drive. And once you get into your EasyCAD folder, it's going to be in the plug folder. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And there's the Mark Config 7, uh, which we have right there. Mark Config 0 is the default settings. So this will load in whatever settings are default to your EasyCAD installation. But the Mark Config 7 are going to be the ones that are aligned with how you have your laser set up personally. So this is the file that we want. We'll go ahead and hit open. And it's going to show us a quick preview here of just kind of how we have things set up. So it's a fiber laser. We have a JPT. Uh, our field size is going to come in, uh, whether or not we have pulse width modulation enabled, our minimum and maximum frequency. So it's going to import all this stuff for us right here. Uh, and this can save you a lot of time. Uh, every once in a while, the EasyCAD config import has issues, but it's rare. Uh, usually it's it's pretty on point so this is a really handy feature uh, if it works for you you can go ahead and give it a shot if not we're going to talk about how to configure the laser from scratch anyway so um, instead of clicking next here I'm actually going to hit cancel and we're going to just find my laser one more time and I'm going to do it manually because I'd really like to show you guys how to set these up from scratch so we're just going to uh, skip the import and we're just going to hit next you can go ahead and give it a name this would be whatever lens that you're going to use. So JCZ Fiber is fine. We're going to be setting this up with the 110 lens. So I'm going to call it JCZ Fiber 110. And we'll talk about adding other lenses later, but for now it's important to remember that we need to actually assign this some kind of value that will differentiate it from the other lenses that we have in our kit. So uh, I'm going to just go ahead and leave 110 on the end of this here. That way we know this is the config for our 110 lens and we can hit next and finish and there it is our device list now contains our fiber laser with our 110 lens once we hit ok we are in lightburn and that's about it guys so we're installed our laser has been recognized by the system over here we can see laser ready uh, so it's good to go and we're going to stop this one here guys and when we come back we're going to talk about setting up the actual config for the laser so we're going to come in and talk about how to set your min max pulse width some of the different setting menus and things like that so thanks for watching this episode and i will see you in the next one Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of the Lightburn for Galvo Crash Course. If you got value out of this one, guys, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we add to the Lightburn for Galvo Crash Course. 
If you want to join the Laser Everything community, hang out, talk about all these cool new features and stuff that we've got going on with Lightburn for Galvo, there are links to our absolutely 100% free Facebook group and Discord server down in the description, right next to the link to the Laser Master Academy, the number one way to support the channel. So if you want to support the channel and help us continue doing what we love doing here, which is teaching you guys how to use your lasers, uh, consider signing up. It starts at eight bucks a month and every dollar of it goes to making sure that we can continue to do what we love to do. And uh, we, we really do love doing it so much. And all of the information that we put out on the YouTube channel for everyone for free is thanks to our members over at the Laser Master Academy. If you wanna go check that out, you can sign up right now over at masters dot laser everything dot net hope to see you over there and i hope you enjoy the next episode of the light burn for galvo crash course